goodness! Sorry, Shadow. I didn't think anyone else was around on the observation bay. You've been up here for a while. Hope I didn't make you worry. I just like to come up here when I feel a bit lost in my own... thoughts. Hmm. <laughs> I know. It really is beautiful, isn't it? The Ark can sometimes feel pretty overwhelming, but this sector is always nice and empty. Not to mention the fact that it has an incredible view of the surface. It's one of the best features of the entire station, if you ask me. Earth... What exactly is it... like down there? Oh? I didn't take it that you were all that interested, Shadow. You never really seem to pay attention during tutoring. Any reason for the change of heart? I just... notice you staring out at it more and more these days. It must be very important to you. Yeah, it really is. Though, if you're asking me about my personal experiences with it, I guess I wouldn't really know. I mean, I was born there, but I've been more or less up here in the Ark my entire life. Hmm? Oh, I guess that's kind of confusing to you, huh? When humans are born, we don't really remember a lot from the start of our lives. We develop long-term memories, we mature. But it's because of that I don't quite remember my parents. I've been told they're very kind people, and they tried to help me the best they could, but had to make the decision to send me to the Ark, and... and... <laughs> I'm getting a bit off track. You were wondering about the planet. <laughs> I have a firm belief that it's a wonderful place, filled with wonderful people. The staff here are just like me. They're from Earth too, and from their experiences, they tell me amazing things. Remember my textbooks? All those grassy fields and bodies of water that I read to you about? They're all there, Shadow. Those sorts of things wrap around the entire planet. We may think we have space here, but... The station is nothing compared to the planet right in front of us. It's hard to grasp, but the Earth is incredibly large, filled to the brim with life and nature. We may see the same people we know every day here at the station, but on Earth, we can see streets, crowds of people every time we step foot outside, all of which are unique human beings we've never met before, all working towards their own unique dreams and lives. That sounds... unbelievable. It feels that way, but it's real. And it's all right there in front of us. And someday, in the future when my grandfather finds a proper cure for Nibs, I want to return there. I want to walk through a proper forest. I want to go to a beach and soak my feet in the water. And I... I want to hug my parents and make up for all the lost time over the years. Maria, do you... Do you think the people that live on Earth will accept me? Uh... What? Your comment about human memory. What you said earlier. I'm... different. I've never had an issue remembering anything from the moment of my creation. I remember you, Dr. Gerald, and that's because I'm not like everyone else. I was born in a tube, a machine, and if I'm being honest, I know I'm different. I see it in the mirror plain as day. I'm not like you or anyone else, and I'm worried. Shadow. Different has never meant bad by any stretch. That's what's so great about Earth. There may be many shared experiences out there, but every person is just as varied and unique as the next. Me and my grandfather may share a species, but we couldn't be more distinct from one another. And you are the same. Our differences are what make us exceptional. They're what make us... us. And there's nothing I'd rather you be than what you are. And if it means anything, if you still don't believe me, 
A world that doesn't accept you is a world that I don't want to live in. Never mind what I may have heard about it. Maria, I'm... I'm sorry that you don't have any memories of your parents, but... I'm glad that I'll always have memories that I share with someone like you. Thank you.